guys I hope you're doing well um, today I'm just gonna do like a quick get ready with me and as always when I need to get ready for something I'm in a rush don't ask me why but I do make sure I'm on time though so I may sacrifice some bits but um, yeah today I'm going out um, for dinner like, kind of like a late birthday dinner with my new friends it's so hard to get all of us together but when we do it's just such a nice you know kind of like get together um, I don't have my phone today so I'm not going to do a post notification shout out because I'm in a rush but I might do two next time actually. I'm going to start prime up my lids with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. You guys probably know what this product is by now, I always use it. I'm kind of running out. I do have a spare tube. With this weather, I really don't want to put too much makeup on, but knowing me, I probably will end up putting a lot of makeup on. Okay, I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette today, uh, the remastered one. And I'm going to start off with, um, I think I'm going to start with Sandalwood. I'm just putting this in the crease. Don't worry about the edges because we're gonna clean that afterwards. Now I'm just taking a clean brush and just blending that. Okay, so we're gonna keep it like that. So I'm gonna use cocoa right here. And just deepen that outer corner and bring it slightly into the crease. Again, we can take our little brush, a clean one, and blend the edges. We're going to this restaurant called Beirut Night, and they kind of do like uh, Lebanese Turkish food, I think. I actually even, you know, I don't know if you guys do the same, but every time I go out to a restaurant, I always look at the desserts first. And I look at the drinks as well. I like trying cool new drinks. I think I'm going to take a bit of doll face and put it in the inner corner crease, like just here. Kind of just to add a little pop of colour there. Kind of bend it into the brown. I'm also going to take a little bit of black truffle, which is the black shade in the palette, and I'm just going to deepen that section a little bit more. Not too much, I don't want it to be jet black. Okay, so now I'm going to take some more of Sharp Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I'm gonna carve out that. I'm gonna carve a crease out. I haven't done a cut crease in so long. Just like the inner corner. Okay, I'm now going to take one of my favourite shades from the palette, is Pink Diamond. Just look how intense that shade is. I'm wearing all black, so I'm going more pinky with the eyes today. It's so hard to do your eyes when you have long ass nails. Okay, definitely a synthetic brush. Works so much better. Taking a little bit more cocoa and just blending that together. There's no harsh lines. Now I'm going to take some of my Glamour Eyes eyeliner by Rimmel. I'm going to do a little wing liner. I haven't done a wing in so long, oh my goodness.
didn't do too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so as always, I'm gonna curl my lashes. For mascara today, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of the Perversion Mascara by Urban Decay. Make sure you get those inner corner lashes. I don't really have much inner corner lashes to be honest. I think for lashes, I'm just gonna wear the Samantha lashes by Huda Beauty. But then I really like Noelle lashes. But then I also have these ones that are really nice. Let me just try them. Are they broken? They're really big. No. That's way too big. Do you know what? I'm just going to go with the Samantha ones. Yeah, that's so much better. Yeah. Yes! I know. I know I'm a weirdo. Where is my lash glue? You know, when I do my makeup, I just... It's not like I can, like, put put the lid back on and put it back where it was I have to just leave it right there in front of me and then I end up with this huge massive mess in the meantime while my lashes are drying what's that light oh Jesus what the hell is that is someone shining a torch at me that is no I'm so confused right now, it's literally blinding. I can't see. Okay, I don't know if it's darker. I can't see anything. That thing literally blinded me. But anyways, I'm gonna um, put some skin defense. This is my SPF 50. I need some SPF. I've already moisturized. I get a lot of questions on like, when was the order of your skincare? Like what you should be putting first, what you should be putting last. And from research and from working on a counter, I know that you put your water-based products first and then you put your oils um, so, th so that the oil doesn't create a barrier for your water-based products to go through your skin. So anything that's like a water-based moisturiser or serums you can put. But then when it comes to oilier moisturisers or serums or anything like that, you put that after. And then from what you guys have told me and doing some more research, I found that SPF goes on last. So, yeah, that's what you have to do. I'm also going to pop some primer. This is the Honey Dew Me Up Primer by NYX. So for any of you Mauritians in London, I'm going to be going to the... Mauritian Air Festival in Trent Park this Sunday. A lot of you said that you're going. I didn't go last year with my mum because I don't know why. But um but I don't think it was the same. There was one closer to my house, but it's quite big. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was that one that my mum went to. But yeah, I will be I will be going to that one on Sunday. I literally cannot wait because I know some of you guys are gonna be there and I really want to meet you and I really want Dalpuri and Eski and Twisties and Napolitan. Not so much Napolitan, but you know, it's nice to have one, you know? I'm using my Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Foundation. Do you know what? Just to control... Oh, wait, let me put my lashes on. I forgot. Look at the difference that makes. It's beautiful. I love Huda Beauty lashes. Like, they're just so stunning. Just to control, like, oh my god, I'm actually running out of my primer. But I'm going to use the Pro Filter Primer by Fenty Beauty. Just a little bit on the centre of my face. I know I'm using two primers, but I don't want to look oily. Especially with this hot weather, I really don't. I'll put some on top of my upper lip as well, because that area. I'm always like this. I always try to put like the smallest amount, especially in this hot weather. Like I try to like blend it as much as I can. Especially down my neck. Oh 
Right. Now we're going to use some more Tarte Shape Tape. This is my Damp Beauty Blender. Now I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Blondie. Forehead. And then I'm going to go in with Kanafa. Is this one right here? It's a much more yellowy and warm, and I just go with this around my mouth. It works so much better around the mouth. I brush that off. Flow. Less. I'm gonna grab some of my min MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep from MAC. To get the sides of my forehead. So I'm gonna take a bit of Kunafa and just carve I saw Kylie Jenner do this and it looked really nice like I usually do it but when she did it I really like saw like makes a difference so it's just gonna make sure that the lash band is covered I'm gonna go in with my perversion liner, perversion mascara. Just put some mascara on, my, on those lashes. I'm just gonna brush off this powder. I'm gonna put a bit of toll face on my lower lash line. Okay, so then we're going to go closer with Coco with a smaller brush. I'm going to put some more Perversion Mascara on. I do have my Nip and Fab one, so I'm just going to put this on just a tiny bit. I'm going to put some highlight. I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown highlighter in Moon Glow. It's beautiful. I'm then going to top that off with my Gilded Honey Dew Dreamer. Illuminating Drops by Laura Geller. I just like literally just place that like, all right on top of the highlight. I'm also going to take some bronzer and run this on the sides of my nose. This makes my nose a bit more prominent because it kind of disappears with all the foundation sometimes. Okay, so then for lips, I'm going to go in with Huda Beauty Trendsetter. Oh, and I'm also going to take some of my Maybelline Nude Embrace Lipstick and just pop this. In the center 
I think that's it guys. What else do I need? Oh, setting spray. So I'm going to use my Nip and Fab Mattifying at Mixing fi Fixing Spray. Okay, I'm going to fix my hair and I'll be right back. Alright guys, this is the end of the video. Did my hair, put some extensions in. Get some big voluminous hair. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next one. Mwah.